In my last video, I pointed out that most people don't understand what causes physical aging, so they don't know what to do to slow the aging process. In this video, I'll discuss five more major factors that cause premature aging. The last one might surprise you because managing it properly was associated with 7.5 more years of longevity. Hi, this is Dr. Shindani for your health. To see the first five factors of aging, subscribe to this channel and click on the bell for notifications and look for my previous videos at www.askdrshintani.com. Here are five more major causes of aging. Number six, plaque formation. In terms of the health of the human body, plaque formation is another word for the formation of scar tissue. Plaque formation is a factor in aging because atherosclerotic plaques in the arteries can cause heart disease and strokes. Plaque formation in the brain can contribute to memory loss and Alzheimer's disease. Both of these are loosely related, but both contribute to aging in a major way. Plaque formation may be avoided by keeping cholesterol under control and inflammation under control as well. Number seven, de-energization. Energy provides the essence of life. Every cell is a mini battery and every nerve impulse is an electrical impulse. Without energy, there's no life. This is why it's important for longevity to keep our body's energy up and prevent what might be called de-energization. When we are young, our voltage in our cells is high. As we age, our voltage gradually decreases, and because we have less energy, we're less able to repair damage, and recovery from any injury or health condition is slower. Spots start to appear on our skin. Injuries don't heal quite as fast. We have trouble recovering from illness and our metabolism slows down, and we have trouble controlling blood sugar. Skin becomes wrinkled, and we have more and more aches and pains than we used to. What causes de-energization? Multiple factors contribute to this, such as poor nutrition, lack of exercise, toxic exposure, uh, hormone imbalance, especially thyroid hormone. Number eight, hormone dysfunction. Some experts believe that a major cause of biological aging is hormone dysfunction and hormone deficiency. One of the world's most prominent endocrinologists, Dr. Terry Hertog, president of the International Hormone Society, believes that aging is the result of declining hormones. There's some logic to this belief because as we age, virtually all of our hormones are in decline. And when we replace the hormones with bioidentical hormones in proper physiological amounts, many of the signs and symptoms of aging may be reversed. Number nine, stagnation. Stagnation is basically inactivity. There's an old saying, use it or lose it. This is more and more true as we age. Stagnation in relation to aging is basically not using the physical, mental, and social abilities that we have. Physical inactivity causes gradual decline in our ability to use our arms and legs and can contribute to physical dysfunction. You've got to keep your mind active and induce the brain to continue to make new nerve connections in the brain so that we keep our brains healthy. And what most people don't realize is that physical exercise is important to keep our body and brain healthy by inducing healthy circulation both of blood and lymph and also to help detoxify the body of toxins that may have accumulated in parts of our body. Social isolation is another form of stagnation. You might call this lack of social exercise. This is one of the reasons why doing things in group activities is important. Group activities in the total well-being of people is reflected in the fact that people engaged in group activities, family activities, work, and church that involves human contact tend to live longer. Number 10, disposition. This one might surprise a lot of people in how important it may be. Disposition or a person's mental attitude or the way a person handles stress is an X factor in longevity. 
In a small study of 660 people, those with more positive attitude or positive disposition about their aging lived an average of 7.5 years longer than those who did not have a positive attitude. This effect remained even after controlling for other factors such as age, gender, income, loneliness, and even health status. So keeping a positive attitude or a positive disposition may be one of the more important things you can do to slow the aging process. In the next videos, I'll discuss simple things you can do to arrest and even reverse the aging process. To make sure you're alerted to these videos, subscribe to this channel and click on the bell for notifications. This is Dr. Shintani for your health.